One good news. If we want to compare Putin to Hitler, he doesn't have fanatics in, 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 in his entourage. Nazis, many of them were fanatics, willing to die for the crazy idea. So Putin, the, the Siloviki, the, the they are people. A bunch of, they are a bunch of corrupt mafiosis that used to, that used to uh, uh, hit those who couldn't respond. They were very good in, in, in hitting Syrian civilians from, far, from afar, so knowing that they couldn't you know, hit, uh, hurt their planes. Now they're being uh, fought back by Ukrainians and being really hit. And uh, all of them know that if they do it, if they use nukes, most likely, there's no guarantee, but most likely, they'll be hit back by NATO. I don't believe that any of them will be willing to push the button and to use the tactical nuclear weapons, even if he thinks that's a 50-50 chance that a NATO missile will kill him in five minutes. They don't care about Hague, about international court, uh, uh, criminal court, but they don't want to die. They don't look to me like fanatics that are willing to become kamikaze to satisfy Putin's sick geopolitical ambitions. So they are more like thinking about their, I don't know, family or fortunes because they have their millionaires. Bingo, bingo, uh, multi-millionaires. So these people, you know, they, they have very different um, priorities in their lives. And uh, somehow we should praise Russian corruption for uh, uh, stealing, you know, so, so many resources uh, from Russian army and making it... Uh, 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 depleted... Uh, even before the invasion, uh, making it totally unprepared for serious war. 